What time is it? Winter time. It's Melbourne winter. <laughs> Hello everyone. I haven't done a ranking video since the Taylor Swift song ranking video where I tried to work out what my favorite album was based on how much I loved each song on the album. Now we did that just after Midnight's came out, I believe, and that was before the Speak Now Taylor's version, that was before everything that followed that. So I'm definitely gonna be doing that again. But in the interim, I have been in my high school musical nostalgia era again. You know, it's, it's that time of year again when I wanna binge all the movies. And I thought, what better way to use that time <laughs> than to rank every single song in the High School Musical Cinematic Universe or the HSMCU. I'm a millennial, so this series was really important to me growing up. I had the piano sheet music for every one of the movies. I tried to buy clothes that were similar to the clothes that Gabriella wears in each one of the movies. And I even auditioned. <laughs> <laughs> for my hometown's local performance of High School Musical. Yeah. Yeah. I even had to, against literally everything within me, fake my age so that I could be in it because I was 12 and I believe the cutoff was 14. So, you know, I was a little bit of a bad girl. <laughs> but I was eliminated after the first round. So uh, any rumors of me being a triple threat are completely gone. <laughs> Huge disappointment from me. So anyway, we're gonna be ranking every one of the High School Musical songs. This is going to be a ranking based on how much I personally enjoy them and think of them as iconic rather than whether I think they're necessarily a good song. I, of course, encourage all of you to debate in the comments my choices and also give reasons why you think things should move around. I just love these kinds of videos and I wanted to do one with all of you. So, yeah. <laughs> so let's get into the ranking. So our first rank is Soar and Fly and Break and Free. This is for the God tier songs. These are the unmistakable, undeniable, when we think of the essence of High School Musical and I think about how much it impacted me as a tween, this is where they go. This is the cream of the crop. Next up we have Fabulous. This is everything that takes it a step above. This is everything that is just a cut above the rest. It's not quite God tier, so it's not quite the ins and outs, the essence of the whole franchise, but it is really up there and it's necessary. We, we can't skip these songs. Next up we have what I've been looking for. These songs I would say are the middle of the road. You know, these are songs that I'm singing along to in the car. Maybe these are songs that I'm still putting on a playlist but there's a little spark that's missing from them. Then we have the status quo. Nothing really shiny, sparkly, brand new about these. You know, middle of the road. And then lastly, we have gotta go my own way. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to be ranking these in order of appearance in each of the movies. So we're going to be starting with start of something new. This song is so iconic. What a way for us to introduce us to the whole movie and to our two leads, Troy and Gabriella, one of the most iconic couples in cinematic history. <laughs> I remember as a kid laughing my ass off watching Gabriella fall off the stage mid-song. You know, I was a... Crazy to think, but I was a little nerdy girl and I thought I was little something special, but I also was the kind of girl that was like, I'm just gonna go read my book in the corner and then hope that some prince picks me up. So when I see it in High School Musical, you bet your ass that I think that that's something that can happen to me. I'm sitting in the club like... Me? Me? Okay. <laughs> I love this song. I will say, I'm gonna do something a little bit controversial though with this song, because I think... <laughs> I don't think this song's a good song. <laughs> as much as I love it for its you know, it's icon status. It's just gotta be, it gotta go my own way. I'm so sorry. I just, I feel so bad about it. Especially because the outfit that Gabriella wears is exactly the outfit that I tried to replicate. I was wearing a little cardigan instead of a, a sweater because I'm not really a sweater girly. I say as I'm wearing a sweater. I was 
a cardigan girly. And I would layer singlets on top of one another, one that's like lacy, and I'd flip the lace up so that you could see the lace detail and then wear another singlet on top. <laughs> Don't mind me, I was innovating. <laughs> so yeah, this song is, is just okay. It's iconic, but it's just okay. Next up we have a complete flip. We have Get Your Head In The Game. Don't even get me started. The way that they use the basketball sounds, the dribbling of the ball, the squeaking of the shoes as the percussion in this song, genius. This song is everything. This song has huge icon status. I do think that the selling point of this song is also the bridge. Why am I feeling so wrong? My head's in the game, but my heart's in the song. She makes me feel so right. Should I go for it? Yikes. I really want to put it in Soren Fly and Break and Free, but I think I think I have to be normal about this because otherwise I'm going to put everything in that category. I've got to put it in Fabulous. But just know that it's Soren Fly and Break and Free in my heart. So <laughs> now, next up we have the introduction of my two favorite characters, Sharpay Evans and Ryan Evans. Name a more iconic duo. It's hard to believe that I could you were always there beside me. I want to say this before I get even kind of all the way through this video. I am a Sharpay apologist and I am really debating the time sink into making a full video argument for why she was in the right the whole time and everyone else is in the wrong. You guys are all just blinded by her being very determined and ambitious. <laughs> All that to say, they are giving serious theatre. They are giving face. They are giving energy. And that's something that I really appreciate. This feeling's like no other. I want you to know. I am so tempted to put it in Fabulous, where I think it truly belongs. But there's one part of the song that I just can't forgive. In the movie version of this song, I don't know what they did, where they flubbed up the sound so hardcore, where they cut off Sharpay's line. As good for me as you, no one like you. I don't know if they had a bad take. I don't know, because it's not in the streaming version of this song. So make it make sense, Disney. Why did that happen? But because I am meant to be reviewing the cinema version of this, I have to just put it in what I've been looking for. Guys. What I've been looking for and what I've been looking for. <laughs> Name a more iconic spot for that to be. <laughs> Next up, we have, of course, the Troy and Gabriella version of what I've been looking for, which is the canon version of how the song was meant to be per the... Composer Kelsey Nielsen. It's hard to believe that I couldn't see you were always there beside me. This is their damn it. <laughs> God damn it, we missed the auditions. I'm just gonna give it a go anyway. And then Miss Starbus comes around and I think you guys have a callback. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so yes, we've got to give this some respect because it is the, the canon way that Kelsey wanted this to be. This is the way the song is going to be sung in the Twinkle Town musical. <laughs> this song made me so desperate to find a partner that I could just sing with. Do you know what I mean? Like I was truly so delusional when I was 12. I hadn't been to high school yet. So this was my like, oh, high school's gonna be like this. This is like, you know how when you're 13 years old and you're like, where's my owl letter? When am I going to Hogwarts? High School Musical was my, now hold on, why don't high schools look like this? <laughs> Yeah, I thought I was going to find a singing partner and fall in love with them and that was going to be that. That was going to be me for the rest of my life. And so because that's not real, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's not real and I would give anything for this to be me, for me to be Gabriella in this moment. However, I don't think, I don't think that this song is that good. <laughs> I hate saying that. I think it's because it's so short. If we had had the full version, if we were giving a little bit more oomph, then maybe I could rank this higher. But I'm actually going to rank this in exactly the same spot as I ranked what I've been looking for, Chave and Ryan. It's all happening. It's all in the same spot. I think it's fair. They both suffer from some 
negatives, but they are both, you know, it's so, I don't get me started about it. Okay, here we've got a big one. Stick to the status quo. <laughs> this song will never not be famous. Am I right? This song is the essence of the plot of the first movie, right? We've got people that are not sticking to the status quo. We got, we got basketballers singing. We got nerds singing. That's crazy. Only, only singers should be singing. I'm working late, cause I'm a singer. <laughs> this song made waves. It made waves, people. Everyone and their mum knows the lyrics of this song, right? There's not a single part of this song that misses. There's a guitar solo. A cello is mistaken for a saw. I play the cello. Awesome. What is it? A saw? Sharpe is T. And I just gotta say, I do not understand. And Martha is my queen. I love to pop and lock and jam and break. Is that even legal? Her and this song are gonna hip hop their way to Soaring Fly and Break and Free, I feel like that is where it should go. I feel like I'm not gonna get a lot of pushback on that. But tell me in the comments, of course, if that's a correct spot for that to be. That's the first Soaring Fly and Break and Free we've got in this. I'm so excited about it. I feel good about that. I feel good about that. <laughs> Next up we have When There Was Me and You, the first of the three one per movie Gabriella solo songs. And now I really wanna see where we put all of the Gabriella solo songs in the end. I think I already know where I'm gonna put all of them. This one in particular, there's a couple of things that were happening in these movies, right? There was a lot of editing that was happening to vocals. Zac Efron, he didn't sing barely any of his parts in the first movie in particular. He was overdubbed by another singer because he just couldn't hit those high notes. And it's really obvious. It's just, yeah, it's awkward. And kind of the same can be said with Vanessa Hudgens. It's funny when you find yourself looking from but it's not Vanessa Hudgens' fault. She's a really good singer. It is an editing error. It's giving raise your voice, like. I don't know what they did to this song. I'm tempted to put it in Gotta Go My Own Way. However, in the audition that I mentioned earlier where I tried out for High School Musical in my local city, guess which song? <laughs> guess which song I auditioned to sing with? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, when there was me and you. So this song is a little bit sentimental to me. It is also so funny. The way that they shot this was so iconic. We got to see a whole new part of the school. We got to see that there was posters up for the basketball team, a huge larger than life poster of Troy Bolton. Again, this wasn't my high school experience and this put a completely different spin on what I thought high school was gonna be but I loved it, okay? As much as I love it, I do think that the editing on the voice really kills the song. So I'm gonna have to put it in status quo. It does hurt me though, because as soon as I hear it, it's funny when you find yourself looking from the outside. But there's like three voices singing that for her. Just saying what it could have been. Cause I like the view. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I thought you felt it too. When there was me and you. Okay. Next up we have. Ooh, this song gets the Golden Onion Award. All my Twilight girlies, you know, this one gets the Golden Onion Award. I love Bop to the Top. This song taught me Spanish. Like, I'm fluent in Spanish now. Hola. I believe in dreaming, shooting for the stars. Baby, to be number one, you got to race the bus. <laughs> 
This song is so iconic. I love it so much. It's so fun. They're having so much fun. This is giving more credit to my, of course they would be expecting to get the lead roles because they know theater and they know how to give a performance. And this song is just so iconic and I love it so much. And yes, I do listen to it very regularly. So it's gonna have to go into Fabulous. I, I'm tempted to put it in Soarin' Flying Breaking Free, but like I said, I will be putting them all in Soarin' Flying Breaking Free if I'm not held accountable by this video. So like I said, it, it was the, the song that taught me Spanish. I'm now fluent in Spanish, you can test me on it. What else is there to say? This is so, it's so fun. This song in particular makes me think of Dream Jelly's video about what the Twinkle Town musical was all about. If you haven't watched that video, please watch that video. It is so, so, so good. I can't imagine anyone who is watching this video has not seen that one. But if you haven't, I'm begging you to go do it because this song is a key part in working out what this whole musical is all about. It's so good. And now we have Breakin' Free. We're soaring, flying. Don't lie to me. This song is in every party shuffle playlist, okay? And if I have had one, two, three drinks, you're catching me finding whoever is making eye contact with me to sing this as a duet. And of course I'm singing Troy's part, but Troy's part I feel like I bring. You know the world can see us in a way that's different from who we are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't put this in anywhere but Star and Flying Breaking Free. This is the song of High School Musical. If people don't know anything about High School Musical, they know about Soarin' Flying and Breaking Free, let me tell you. Forget just the song of it all, but the build up, you know, when they're practicing for the callback and they're hiding from Sharpay in the bathroom, mysteriously behind a wall where Sharpay definitely could have seen Gabriella, or when Ryan is looking for Troy while he's singing his part, Oh, it's so, and then the, of course, the basketball championship and the scholastic decathlon. Guys, this song is so iconic. There's nothing better than Soaring Flying Breaking Free. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you for coming to my dead dog. <laughs> and finally, for the official run of the songs in this movie, or that appear in the actual movie proper, we have Rolling This Together. Which also is kind of the inverse of stick to the status quo. Back to my audition story, this was the dance component that we had for our cattle call auditions. There was about, I want to say there was about 15 people in the room all auditioning with me at that moment. And so we had to learn the chorus, which I think everyone knows the moves. Na, 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 na. And I guess at that time, I was very nervous. I wasn't a dancer. I thought that I could get away with not dancing because when we think about Gabriella, who I was hoping to be in this, she doesn't really do much dancing. She does a lot of singing, which I think I can do. Or I thought I could do back then. And I, I feel like I can give acting if I really need to. I'm definitely mostly... No, I was going to say mostly a vocal threat. That's just not true. <laughs> and unfortunately, I just couldn't get the dance moves quick enough, I think. Or convincingly enough. So, yeah, I didn't get it, let's just say. Um, And that's not going to impact where I put this <laughs> Me, delusional. That's not gonna impact where I put this. <laughs> it's hard for me because this is a song that I feel like I enjoy singing. I would not listen to it um, unless it's in the context of the movie. So for that reason, I'm gonna be putting it in what I've been looking for. It's obviously iconic, but I do think Get Your Head in the Game, Bop to the Top, Stick to the Status Quo and Breaking Free are all more iconic than it. It hurts me to say it, I think I'm gonna stick with that. Now we're moving on to High School Musical 2. My favorite of the High School Musical movies. This one is for the girls and the gays. The girls and the gays, they love summer. Am I right? Am I right? <laughs> I do think that this is one of the greatest pieces of media to ever exist, so I'm very excited to be talking about it in its song capacity. And we're gonna start with What Time Is It, which I would argue is maybe the best opening to a movie of all time. What time is it? 
Yeah. This song introduces all the characters back to us. It introduces all the connections and it fills us in on what we've missed from between the callbacks for the Twinkle Town musicale to now summer. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's too controversial for me to say that this song, it's got to be So I'm Flying Break Game Free. Are we being serious about that? Of course it's got to be there. I love this song so much. It's ready for some sunshine, for my heart to take a chance. I'm here to stay, not moving away, ready for a summer romance. <laughs> Next up we have our beautiful, beautiful Shafe Evans back with Fabulous. It's out with the old and in with the new. Goodbye clouds of grey, hello skies of blue. Again, I have to remind you all, I am a Sharpay apologist. I do think that Sharpay was in the right the whole time and she was just, the story was just not being told in her favour. It was not being told in a favourable light, it was using circumstantial evidence to make her look bad. Excuse me. Thank you. This song... It really is fabulous and it is iconic. However, do I think it's more iconic than what time is it? The choreography definitely is. The choreography definitely is. The way it's shot definitely is. But the song itself, I would say no. So I'm going to put it in its own category, fabulous. It hurts me to do that because I really want to put all of Sharpay's songs right at the top where she belongs. But I've just got to be real. Next up, we have Work This Out. <laughs> Now, I love, I love a bit of, I love a bit of trash in the camp. Stay with me, fellas. I feel something happening here. I love a bit of using kitchen utensils as percussion. I love that. It's so creative. I do think, though, that these are all ungrateful little shits. They're all complaining about getting this amazing summer job where they all get to work together. Ungrateful for working at this prestigious country club. Ooh, I gotta, ooh, I gotta, ooh, 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 ooh. shut up. <laughs> you and your friends all get to work together. You all get to muck around, have fun, and still be paid. Shut up. <laughs> this song may slap. But your attitudes don't. Tell me what you want. Tell me what you need. A little bit of sugar, a little bit of butter. It's the perfect recipe. Hey, gang. Mmm, <laughs> I'm gonna have to put this in what I've been looking for. I really like the song. It's so fun. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's giving. Like I said, it's trash in the camp. But, I mean, it's not trash in the camp. It's hard to say I feel bad about that one, but I think I've got to be more middle of the road with these. Otherwise, like I said, they're all going to be so fine and broken free. So next up we have You're the Music and Me. Na 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 na, na 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 na, yeah. Now this song is Troy and Gabriella's like signature song. Fabulous is Sharpay's signature song in this movie and You Are The Music In Me is Troy and Gabriella's signature song. And now I didn't explain this very well in my recording, but what I mean by a signature song is a character's leitmotif or a leading musical motif, which indicates to the audience that this is like their moment. It's like it helps the audience follow the story through whoever the focal character is. The most notable example of this is Darth Vader's Imperial March. Every time Darth Vader is on the screen, the Imperial March is playing. And so similarly in High School Musical 2, Sharpay's got the... Are you smiling? No worries, Ryan. <laughs> this is our turf, remember? From Fabulous and Troy and Gabriella have the piano part of You Are The Music In Me. Whenever they appear on screen and they're in love, that's the song that's playing in the background. Like I was saying with what I've been looking for, the Troy and Gabriella version, this is giving exactly what I would want from me and my boyfriend in high school. This is giving a dream scenario for me, you know, me and him singing together a harmony to the melody. You know what I'm saying? Make it real for me. <laughs> me dating someone who would literally never sing for me. Not even as a joke will sing for me. 
This song, I think it's beautiful. It's another Kelsey song. You know, it's one from the archives, but Kelsey, I'm so sorry. I'm, I have to put this in what I've been looking for. It's just not giving anything that special. I think there are more special songs on this movie that I have to give a little bit more credit to. So for that reason, you're out. It's just okay. I also think that in a beautiful little, like they're gonna kiss moment at the piano, all their friends come in, I would wanna be pounded them. This movie was maybe the worst for Troy and Gabriella almost kissing. It was just a, like a smack to the face every time until right at the end of the movie. Ooh. Next up we have Huma Huma Nuku Nuku Apua Up. Which for those who have seen the extended version, that's where this song appears. Otherwise in the theatrical cut, it was not in there. This song is a little bit problematic. Sing from my heart of the power of love, just a girl with a youth, a lady. Yeah. So I understand why it was cut. It is fun though. It's got a lot of funny moments. The song itself is not very good though. The way that we're highlighting Ryan not being given the spotlight like he should be. because he put so much effort in and he does more arguably than Sharpay. All that character stuff that we miss from it not being in the movie. Yeah, that kind of sucks. But the song itself, not very good. And we could have done this without talking about Hawaiian culture in a disrespectful kind of way. So it's gonna be gotta go my own way. I'm sorry. It just didn't need to be there. And so I'm, I am in a way glad it's cut. I remember when I was a kid, I used to love this song. But now that I'm older and informed, it just doesn't hit the same. Oh, but the next song, talking about hitting the same. <laughs> next up we have I Don't Dance. Which is truly a gay anthem. Boys saying they don't dance while dancing and singing. Yeah, okay. With baseball references that I don't understand as a non-baseball girly, that doesn't matter. I understand the language of dance. I understand the language of song. And that's all you really need. And then there's sexual tension. And then the fact that they both end up in each other's outfits after this song. This is going straight to Soren Fly and Reckon Free for me. Am I wrong for that? You're gonna have to tell me in the comments because I can't hear you. <laughs> then we have You Are The Music In Me, Sharpay version. You are the music in. You know the words once upon a time make you listen. There's a reason. Yeah, this song is fucking good. Sharpay really knows how to turn a womp womp song into a yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Womp womp womp. LA, also, we get to see Troy having a bit of fun. song I know we belong to you and the music gave me. This song is so fun. It's gonna have to go into... It's gonna have to go into Fabulous. I reckon it's way better than the regular schmegular You're the Music in Me. It's just fun. It's shorter, of course, but it's fun. We love fun. <laughs> now comes to the second of the Gabriella solo songs. This song may be the most iconic song of the whole franchise. I gotta say what's on my mind. Gotta go my own way. Changed lives. It changed my life. Like I said, I was trying to emulate Gabriella fashion throughout the whole of these movies. That dress had me in a chokehold. So Don't get me started. Don't get me started about this song. I'm gonna get emotional. What about us? What about everything we've been through? And what about trust? 
<laughs> you know I never wanted to hurt you. And what about me? Yeah. So I'm flying breaking free. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do one even better and I'm just going to put it right at the front. <laughs> this one's the one. This one's the one. Thank you. And it, following up an iconic song with an equally iconic song, bet on it. They really said to Zac Efron, we need you to just, to just give as much as you can. We need you to make the most of this golf course. We need you to make the most of the golf course. And we need you to just, just jump around. And he was like, bet. This song has got to be in Soarin' Flying Breaking Free. I'm going to put it right after, got to go my own way. If you haven't seen icon Trisha Paytas do bet on it, I need you to stop what you're doing right now. I need you to stop this video right now and watch that. The answers are all inside of me. She's really good at it. <laughs> after two iconic songs, after everything that we go through in the story, we get a reunion. We get the reunion in Every Day. Every day of our lives. Now, I did say that I had the sheet music to all of these movies. And my favorite song to play on the piano was Every Day. Gotta run while we're young and keep the faith. Oh, I love this song so much. Is it a good song? Hard to say, it's kind of giving church. It's really giving church, actually. It's like giving fundamentalist Christian church. It's giving Hillsong. And for that, I can't put it in Fabulous, which is where I wanted to put it, I think. I'm gonna have to put it in what I've been looking for because it is a good song, but it's, it is giving church. And I can't. <laughs> I think it's gonna go there. <sighs> and finally, for this movie, we have All For One. This is where we get to see Miley Cyrus. We were asked who we wanted to see be added into this movie, into the cast for this one song. And this is where we get Miley Cyrus. We all voted for her. This song, it's another song where I used to know the dance moves too. <laughs> everybody up, everybody rocking, stick it from the top, and never ever stopping. It's not about the future, it's not about the past. It's making every single day last and last and last. Oh, this one, what could be better? Mm -hmm. Do I listen to this song ever? No. I've got to put it in status quo. It's not a bad song necessarily. Yeah, I'm not reaching for it ever. I'm just not. And that's High School Musical too. Now we're up to High School Musical 3. Now this movie got a theatrical release. This was in cinemas. This movie had a huge budget. High School Musical 2 was a huge success. So they were like, put it in the theater for the kiddos. And at the time that this came out, I was, I believe, 14 or 15. And at that stage, I was in my Twilight Girly era. And I was saying goodbye to all the things that I lacked as a child. Because I'm a grown woman now, you know? I like vampires. So I actually watched this movie kind of more recently within, I want to say the last five years. So I was well and truly an adult. So my opinions on these songs are a little bit different. I've also had less time to like mull these songs over. Whereas the other ones are, you know, I was watching them yearly from when they came out. I have a different relationship with this one. So now let's see. We're starting with Now or Never. Which, from the start of it, it's so beautiful. The way they shot it, everything is glistening. The sweat. The way we play is what we leave behind. Try. Right now I can hardly breathe. Oh, you can do it. Just know that I believe. And that's all I really need. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's so good. I've got to put this in Fabulous. I don't think I can put it in Soar and Fly and Breaking Free, but it does give me the brain tinglies, you know, the little like back of the head, like, it gives me that. <laughs> After they shoot the winning point, they get to celebrate. They go to the Bolton residence and they have a little party. And this is where Gabrielle and Troy go up into the little tree house, which we're seeing for the first time, wasn't in any other movie where they sing together right here, right now. Right here, right now, right now. 
Tomorrow can wait for some other day to be. Cause right now it's you and me. Yeah. So High School Musical 3 is really good for songs where you like just have to sing them. At least for me. But this song is kind of a womp. Is it a womp womp? This song I think is better than what I've been looking for. Is it as good as You're the Music in Me reprise? Is it as good as Bob to the Top? No. I think I have to put it in what I've been looking for. It hurts to do it. It does hurt to do it because I do like the song, but it is a bit of a womp womp. I want it all. Oh my god, does this song hit so hard. Imagine having everything we ever dreamed. Don't you want it? Maybe. Can't you see it? Kinda. I want it all. I want it, want it, want it. The fame and the fortune and more. I want the world. I especially love the scene with Gabriella. <laughs> Oprah's calling. Thank you all. It's Oprah calling. Again. <laughs> I love that scene so much. They did everything for this song. I have to put it in Fabulous. I don't think I can put it in any higher. It's so iconic, but I don't think it's as iconic as the rest of the songs in So I'm Flying Breaking Free. I feel bad doing that because it is so good. And like I said, it's a Sharpay and Ryan song, which that's where my heart is. Then we have Can I Have This Dance. Can I have this dance? Can I have this dance? Take my hand. I'll take the lead. It's so cute. I love singing this song. It's not iconic though. I have to put it in status quo. This hurt. That one hurt me actually. Otherwise I'm just putting everything in what I've been looking for. It's just not as good as those songs. It's fun to sing though. It's just not as good as those songs. Oh, it hurts. I hate this. I hate this so much. This self-inflicted harm. I hate this. Then we have A Night to Remember. with that line. <laughs> oh, I love this song. Getting ready. Get, get, getting ready. <laughs> it's so fun and silly. I think I have to put this in fabulous, actually. That might be controversial. I might be putting it too high, but I really love that song. And sometimes I'm just in the mood to listen to it. I just gotta, just gotta throw it on. It's so good. It's never a skip for me. It's so fun. Then we have Just Wanna Be With You. <laughs> Which is one of the songs for the musical at school. Woohoo! I just wanna be with you. It's sunny and raining, and it's alright. Oh, I wanna do is be with you, be with you. There's nothing we can't do. It's so good. Oh, but it's, it's not really iconic though, is it? It's fun to sing though. So I'm, I've got to put it in what I've been looking for. It is really so good. And it's fun. It's probably the... What am I going to say this? It's probably the best of the Troy and Gabriella songs. I like that one the best, I think. Is that true? For now it is. <laughs> then we have The Boys Are Back. Take it back to the place where you know we all began. This song is so fun. I love this whole scene. The boys are back. Hey, the boys are back. But I don't like this song. If it wasn't in the movie and I was just hearing it, just do 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 do. <laughs> I love hearing Chad more, but I just don't like the song. I'm gonna put it in Gotta Go My Own Way. I'm so sorry about it. That one's gonna hurt a lot of people. I just know it. Boys are back stands. Cry to me about it. Gotta go my own way about it. And then we have the last of the trilogy of Gabriella songs, Walk Away. Just walk away. Oh, no, 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 I fucking hate this song. This is gonna be the worst of the Gabriella songs. This is worse than when there was me and you. This song just sucks, dude. They were like, mm, let's make Gabriella do the same thing in every movie. Let's, let's find a reason for Gabriella to live. 
Let's make her have early entry to college. And then let's make her not only take away everything about herself in her home, but take away even her mum. All of the, the objects in their house just disappears. It's so stupid. And it's just, oh, it's so unnecessary. It's probably one of my biggest gripes with this movie is that that plot with Gabriella is just so lazy. So for all those reasons, it's in Gotta Go My Own Way. That song just sucks. Vanessa sounds great, but it's just not a good song. <laughs> now, this song is a banger. Always the Troy songs after the Gabriella song. They're good. They're good. <laughs> Bet on it. Knee slapper. Just, just an iconic moment. Scream now? now it's so good. The way that they make the wall go around. <laughs> this song is just fun and it's so... <sighs> I think I have to put this in fabulous. It's just, I think a lot of people really love Scream. It's definitely not Soren Fly and Breaking Free. And I do really love this song. And I do really love it the most of the other High School Musical 3 songs. But it's got to go there. I don't think I can put it low. I don't think I can safely say it's Just Want to Be With You level. I think it's better than that. That's me on Scream. I love the way it's shot. I love Zach. And it's just kind of everything to me. It is really iconic. It's getting points for being iconic. <laughs> What's the senior spring musical? Right. <laughs> it's Kelsey and Ryan singing. So I like that there's a little bit of Kelsey and Ryan happening. It goes for seven minutes. It's our last chance to share the stage. That's right, it's everything. It that's what the, So the spring musical, I don't feel like it's fair that it's a song. <laughs> because it's like a scene. It's a whole scene. It's it's giving all of the th it you know, Ryan's I want it all. It's a night to remember, but with the other girl. What's her name? And that is it's it's I it's got icon status, but it's not one that you're gonna ever listen to, is it? I've gotta put it in I've gotta put it in status quo. I'm gonna be real brutal with it. I just don't think it's very enjoyable to listen to. It's good in the context of the movie. It serves a good purpose. But yeah. <laughs> now, just want to be with you. A reprise. Now, I'm considering that to be the Sharpay and what's his name song. Right? Because that song is funny. Even when we're miles apart. Even when we're miles and miles and miles apart. Oh, I want to do. <laughs> it's so funny, but it's not not good to listen to. So that's going in status quo. I'm so actually I might. I'm gonna put it in. Gotta go right. <laughs> it hurts. It does really hurt. And then we have <laughs> we have we're all in this together. The graduation mix, which is together, together. together. And now tickets to Juilliard go to Ryan Evans and Kelsey Nielsen. And Troy is going to be playing basketball and theatre. It's barely a song. I'm putting it in Gotta Go My Own Way. Sorry. It's barely a song. And then finally we have High School Musical. The name of the series. The final song of the series. High School Musical. Ow. <laughs> it's a fun song. It's not iconic at all. I love the na 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 end kind of it. <laughs> it's kind of the same as All For One for me. Of the like end songs, Rolling This Together is definitely the best of them. It's not shit. It's just not, not good. It ends perfectly for the whole series, but it's just, it's just not for me. It's not for little old me. 
Okay, so that was my ranking. I'd love to know what you all thought of that. I do feel a little bit guilty about some of them. You know, tell me what you think. Tell me what you think I'm completely wrong about. Do you think Scream should have been in Sora and Fly and Breaking Free? Are you a Huma Huma Nuku Nuku Apua Ah Stan and you think it actually should be uh, considered? Let me know. Also, where would you put Can't Take My Eyes Off Of You, which was the song that they cut that they ended up putting in the credits of the first movie. I can't take my eyes off of you. Oh, oh, you know you feel the same way too. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I had a lot of fun with that one. I love doing these videos. These videos are so fun for me and I just get to have a silly goofy time. This one especially, I feel like I was in a real silly mood. <laughs> So yes, I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you are happy, healthy. I hope that you stay well. I hope that you stay hydrated. And I guess I'll be seeing you next time.